make anybody <laughs> wet their pants. Oh, I'm very honored. I like what I like when anybody dreams about me. That's great. I think it's great. I really do. I like it. Uh, Robert, what's up? In Boca Raton. I wish I was there now. I would love to see what's headed this way. Yeah, snow. No. Well, you're invited to come stay with me anytime. Okay, Robert. Well, my question is, well, first, I just wanted to say how much I love Howard TV. I watch it every night. It's the best thing on television. Thank you. And I am now going to develop an original series for Howard TV where uh, I don't need American Idol. I'll do my own American Idol. You don't need American Idol. I mean, right. behind-the-scenes footage is unbelievable. Speaking of Rosie O'Donnell, I watched that the other night. You walking over to her studio, that was great. It's it's unbelievable. It's a lot of fun. The but guys wanted, do a great job. I don't say it often enough, but God bless really Howard TV. They do a great job. But my question for you is, I noticed for the past couple of weeks that you've been wearing a lot of scarves. These fancy That's my new look. Scarves. Let me see. I'm glad you, someone you got a scarf? Well, here's what happened. Yes, I have a red scarf on today. What is going on? It's fucking cold out. Oh, and, and you I don't come take in, it off in no, here? No, it's become a fashion statement now. I was reading GQ magazine. Yes. And guys like Johnny Depp and all the guys, all the hip guys, <laughs> wear their scarves. It's become almost like a necktie. It's like I don't even take it off. I put it on in the morning. I wrap myself up. And I got my coat. And this is with you all day. And it's with me all day. I have it on all day and it feels good. And then if I get a little too warm, I take it off. And then I put it back on again. Say, hey, it's, man, you know, I like the new look. I didn't know if this if it was freezing cold in the studio. No. Well, sometimes I do get studio. cold. I am wearing a sweatshirt. And yeah, you're, you've got a lot of clothes on. I am cold all the time. I mean, like, I'm comfortable now. But this is my new rockin' look. All right. Just want to say I like the new look. Brandana, you know? what are you laughing at, you big pussy? You wish you had my look. Uh, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool. <laughs> you can take it off when you're cold, too. I mean, warm. That's right. Nice. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, just wanted to say I like the new look. It looks right, great. And also, I didn't know that Artie was back in the studio taking pictures, I guess, of all the girls now these days. Oh, no. That's Jason. Mm. Did you confuse oh, that's him? Jason. <laughs> My God. <laughs> all right, Robert. Thank you. Are you wearing a clip-on tie today? No. Oh, all right. What do we got here? Let me see. Tommy Hilfiger. Huh. Somebody said it was clip-on. Oh, no, it's a, um, the guys are saying it's a, it's got an elastic band on yeah. it, so you don't have to elastic tie it. Band. You just, it's, don't lift his collar. What? In the back, collar. is there an elastic band? Elastic. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Let's check that out. No, what are the guys it's a regular about? tie. It's a tie. Wait a minute. Turn around. Yes. Hmm. No, oh, what is that? What is the black piece? It's just I have no a idea. I can't strange see it. color. Yeah, he's got a weird thing going on with his tie. But it's not elastic, it doesn't look like. It's just a different color, probably. Yeah, but why would your tie have a different color on it? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Guys you front. bought it, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> I like that look with the collar up. Uh, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, but anyway, so I've uh, I've been wearing a scarf almost every day, and it feels great. Oh, good. I'm I glad like you it. like it. And I got a bunch of different ones, too. I'm all about. I was on the. And what did, did you learn to tie your scarf? It ain't hard. I mean, <laughs> you wrap it around your neck. You don't have to. There's several ways you can do a there scarf. There are different uh, ways no. to lap a scarf. Have you learned? Yeah, any? Ralph showed me a few actually. Yeah. This what this is my signature tying of the, uh, of the uh, scarf. And then you can do other things with it. Have, will you want to demonstrate? Uh, sure. And then when you get fed up, you can um, hang yourself with your scarf. <laughs> it's so versatile. Well, you can do this. Now I'll show you. If I can get my headphones off. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's hard to do with headphones right. on, but um, you can just wear your scarf. If it gets too warm, you, you can just, just loop it around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> I got this uh, thing. Up, You're but, encumbered. Yeah, or you could do this. You could do it like this way, uh -huh. you know, like I just had. Right. Right. And then what's the other way? The other way is you could go like um, this with your scarf. And just keep going around. And hold on. It's, you can't do it with headphones on, but you go like this, and then you pull it down. Oh. See? And you could do that with your scarf. In I fact, like, uh, I don't like that way. No, you. there's different. Well, I can't yeah. do it good. Yeah. There's different ways of doing it, and I would like all workers here to wear scarves. That'll be our signature <laughs> look. I was actually. I'm getting into this shopping on the internet thing. I was on. I the, heard um, that this was going on. Yes, with you. I'm shopping on the internet now. I was on the John Varvatos 
website last night. What is that? Looking over a nifty leather man purse Ooh. that might have to replace mine. And then I was looking at uh, some scarves on there, actually. Is I liked them. Right? Yeah, a little polka dot action and uh, very into it. We might see some flair. Yeah. What are you going to, are you going to continue the scarves through the spring? Uh, right into summer, Robin. I'll wear a scarf <laughs> and a sarong. <laughs> see, I read GQ magazine to keep up on fashion and yes, things. Yes, and yes. they sometimes tr try to push you into weird things. It almost reminds me of in Playboy, the Playboy advisor for a while, started getting really weird about sex. Like they were introducing like homosexual stuff into it like guys sort of sucking each other guys off and, this and, and that's that. not gay I, it's so gay and i went boy playboy advisor is getting into not playboy advisor but the playboy sex thing is yeah. getting like there's a lot of guys sucking each other off and you know what they can try to keep introducing that i don't know what hef's up to <laughs> you're not going for I'm it. i'm not going for it that's a trend that's gonna pass you by and even in gq magazine i noticed you know i started doing the scarf thing and i see they're talking now about scarves and that people do wear them more and more and yeah. it's, you can see you will look around people wear scarves but then they said, a guy writes and he goes, well, I'm thinking I want to wear a sarong when I go to the beach. I want a, uh, a beach wraparound. Right. He goes, I really want to wear one. What's the problem? Can I, can I just let my cock and balls hang free in there or do I have to have a bathing suit on underneath? And I went, look at these guys. They're trying to get men in a dress. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll wear a scarf. I like my scarf. It keeps me warm. That's as far as you're going. Well, the scarf has function for me. I'm cold all the time, especially around my neck. And this is great. But I'm not getting into a sarong. <laughs> I mean, come on. They can't push you into that. No, area. you're not putting me in a dress. You got me in wearing a purse. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not going to the sarong. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. There's a limit. And you know what I'm going to get into, too? What? I was on the website uh, Bill Wall uh, Leather. I'm going to get into... Uh, uh, my wallet. I'm going to get one of those wallet chains. With a chain? With a chain, yep. After you laughed at Jim so hysterically? I'm going to get one of those. I like it. I saw like a great up. one yeah. at Louis Vuitton the other day. Louis Vuitton? Not Louboutin. Louis Vuitton. That's right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't believe he was making a wallet with a chain. I go on the uh, King Baby website. I'm shopping on there. The the, the uh, Bill... Uh, Bill Wall, John Varvatos. I'm going to, you know, actually. King Baby? Yeah, I haven't worked up the nerve to actually pay for anything with <laughs> my credit card. I haven't figured you out how to do that. You just look at this. I'm stuff. looking and now I'm thinking of maybe making a purchase. One of these days you might break yeah, the seal and make a purchase. Yeah, I, I kind of felt I needed Beth for it, but I want to do it without Beth. I'm taking <laughs> steps to just be my own man, you know, because she shops on the internet. I'm going to do it all on my own. All right. Who knows? It's like walking on the moon for me. Uh, like, that's a big... Like, you're going to go to Guatemala? Like, yeah. that's out of the question this for me? This is... Uh, shopping on the internet's like a big step for me. This is an adventure to you. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to my shopping on the internet. I plan to do it this weekend. Well, let us know how it goes. I will. I'll, uh, I'll model some of my stuff that I buy. <laughs> Looking in fact, bring Dano. in the box. Why not bring in the box when you get it and open it right here? All right. Hey, Brandano, i got to tell you something. You dress like shit. Don't be laughing at me, you big pussy. <laughs> I, Good Lord. i got to get on johnvavatos.com. What the fuck? But you, you know what? What are you wearing? What is baby, that? Is it like a Hartford Whalers t-shirt? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sweatshirt. Yeah. Dude, you look like shit. This is the best sweatshirt I own, too. It was a present from John Hine. Nah, you should go on the King Baby uh, website. Yeah. Uh, I was on there. I've got this. Look at this. This I didn't buy on the web, but see this piece of jewelry? Yeah. Right there. That's King Baby. Ooh. What I got going on? See? You're all about it. You love it. <laughs> you want it. You're all about the fashion. You uh, you want the anal from me without lubrication. <laughs> Anal's off the table. You, right. you did it in. You did me in today with that report. Throw a scarf on that sweatshirt. You look like a badass. Tomorrow morning. I'll all right. Be... All right. Well, anyway. I want to see. Yeah. Everybody in scarves. All right. Uh, Steve, go ahead. What else you got? Two weeks from today, the whole world will be listening to the title. Taryn was so impressed with why Taryn didn't have his Howard Sings a Fuck Room song parody and then feels really bad for David Letterman. Well, no, I listen, Dave screwed around. He deserves a song parody for that. But I told you, Dave's still my guy. And on Tuesday, during this show, I will agree. Gary, are you going to line that up with uh, the CBS Morning Show? I will badmouth and bash Jay on CBS this morning and defend uh, David Letterman. Go ahead. Did you line that up? I have not lined that up yet. Why not? Well, because I haven't had a chance to talk to you about it yet. What's to talk about? Did I give you the piece of paper? No. Did you? Come here. <laughs> this guy's like a nut. Here. 
CBS Early Morning Show would love Howard Stern on our show next Tuesday morning live to discuss Leno's return to The Tonight Show. As you know, he returns to 11.30 Monday, so it'll be a hot topic Tuesday morning. Who better to discuss this than Howard? Because I'm the only asshole who's willing to talk about Jay Leno. Everyone's so afraid. Why is everyone so afraid of this guy? So you want me to set up a shoot where they're right. in here live to CBS? Well, yeah, I work. Okay. I can't leave my radio show. No, I got show. it. I got it. I mean, well, 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 what kind of statement is that? Of course. How can I leave the show? Just want to make sure everything is what you what want. What time is Howard on the air? They don't know what time I'm on the air. Boy, I really have lost influence. Well, you're on the air 24 hours a day. Uh, I know it's a timing conflict. Uh, just triple checking many thanks. And this is the official producer of CBS News, the early show. And I will go on and defend Dave and bash Jay right over the fucking head. You look like a slob. Why are you scar uh, scarfless? Where's your scarf? <laughs> Where's your Howard Stern show scar? Don't even get me started. All right, thank you. I thought Gary was going to start dressing better to get more respect. Well, he he keeps switching it up. Yeah. yeah. Some days I, I okay, I didn't get dressed up for Tara Thomas. Fucking sue me. <laughs> Today he doesn't. For Ron want Howard, I'll look better. Today he doesn't want any respect. <laughs> That's right. I don't. Yeah, right. No, I thought it was in general. Just so like Scott Greenstein even will look at you differently. I mean, I'm you just know, a little like, better. I have a nicer pair of shoes on, a nicer yeah. pair of jeans on, and then I'll wear a jacket sometimes. All right. Because that t-shirt looks like a dress. Actually, this t-shirt, what do you mean it looks like a dress? It's too long on you. Oh, whatever. And it hangs like a dress. It's, it's shorter than that fucking gay scarf. Talk about it. Johnny Depp wears one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ain't no Johnny Depp. <laughs> and you're what? a monkey. What? <laughs> <laughs> what am I if I'm not Johnny Depp? Uh... Well, you should wear a scarf around your face. Oh. By the way, you know what channel we're on, right? It's a, this, is an Al, this is an Al cue. It's a Howard Stern channel. Yeah, well. You know what? <laughs> I'm not the only one who wears a scarf. You know Barbara Streisand wears a scarf. Right. <laughs> She's a high uh, That's right. She's a big star. All right, go ahead. ESPN thinks Captain Jenks is former Philadelphia Eagle Brian Westbrook. ESPN thinks Captain Jenks is former Philadelphia Eagle Brian Westbrook. Uh, Robin thinks Howard's loving story about his dad has some sort of hidden meaning. Howard's colonoscopy wasn't a big deal, but the prep for it sure was. Yep. Howard is a pro at using his feet to wipe down a toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Robin is put in charge of our bathroom, and the access list is certainly going to shrink. And everything else that happened today, including scarves, we'll cover on the wrap-up show. All right, very good. Thank you. That's uh, Johnny Boy Hine. And listen to the wrap-up show today at 11 o'clock. Stevie Brandano hosts the intern show tonight, 7 o'clock, on Howard 101. You should listen to it. Steve, what do you have for us tonight? Tonight, we have a very special guest joining us, former intern, fellow scarf wearer, Gay Rich, is going to be on the show. Is Gay Rich wearing a scarf? I'm sure he does. Yeah, um, yeah he he's, sitting, he's sitting in, he's going to be talking about his experience. No guy wears a scarf in the wintertime. It's unheard of. No, it's fine. It's cool. All right, good. And, uh, and he'll be talking about uh, current intern situations as well. All right, very Tonight, good. 7 p.m. All right, Stevie, thank you. And let's get right to up oh, right to a break robin but the prep for it certainly was and howard taking great pride in his new scarf look which he took a little bit of flack for but some tells me he's going to take a lot more flack from it on this show and robin says she wasn't fooled at all by steve lankford's <laughs> wife calling <laughs> oh good job all right matt in montreal you're on the wrap-up show yeah, hey guys, I gotta talk about Howard's gay scarf, but just before we do that, JD, what was your philosophy? Again? I'm sorry, that was so funny. My philosophy? You just said your philosophy like a minute ago. Try and restate it and say the same thing. On the, high, was... uh, the highs and the lows you're talking about, right, Matt? Oh, fuck, that was funny, guys. <laughs> Good. Okay, I try not to make the highs too high and the lows too low. I try and stay somewhere in the middle. I think you said it more jammered before. But yeah, of course I did, asshole. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say, is there anybody with the balls in here to say, scarves are gay for men to wear? <laughs> Guys who wear scarves are very gay. It's very, very gay. I think I said that when I asked Howard if he realized we were on the Howard Stern channel, not OutQ. <laughs> yeah, but you were just saying that because he was goofing on you about the whole Sibian No, thing. I mean, I'm not a big... Uh, I'm not a big scarf fan. I gotta tell you. Yeah, I'm. I, and I'm not a big scarf fan. Yeah, not as an accessory, and not as something to keep my neck warm. Either way, I'm not a big fan. Now, I don't own a scarf, nor will I go purchase one. But do you think anyone is gonna hop on this scarf bandwagon? And so I'll wear one. No, I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, start, you do. What did you start wearing about 11 minutes ago? <laughs> no, he's what you wear a scarf. <laughs> 
How's it going, Gary? Sounds on KingBaby.com. I don't. I, once in a while, I wear a scarf, but but like a scarf, like with your jacket, or a scarf when you with take my jacket. jacket. Yeah, when you take your jacket off, a scarf. Howard's wearing it as an accessory, right? Right. Which is different than as something to keep you warm. And um, you like know, Benji wearing a skull cap during the day, that's like douchey. Wearing a scarf during the day, that's gay. That's queer. You know, and and I love you, Benji, but it's Thank such you. a it's a it's a douchey thing. You know, I, I like, but who am I? I, no, but I, I smoke I, out I, of a I, pen. I, that's cool. That's cool. I see you that. Know. But I do I do find the scarf <laughs> effeminate also. You know. Hat pins is another story, though. Did you notice that Howard was wearing scarf? Uh, I noticed it weeks ago. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Oh, he looks like Martha Ray at a bingo hall with that thing on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just it just does. It's you know he's a good looking guy. He doesn't need the scarf. You know he's he's, he's a man. Well, in all fairness, Johnny Depp's wearing one. John, well, well, can we uh, take a while? I, I, guess know, what Johnny is. is. I, Howard definitely looks very effeminate in the scarf. I don't know how Johnny looks in the scarf. I got to see pictures of Johnny in a scarf. Like Howard just threw that out there. Like, oh, I'm supposed to go. Oh, Johnny Depp wears one. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> Howard was taking a lot of pride not only in the scarf but the online shopping that he's doing, all the different fashion sites that he's going to. I guess, and you know, he was kidding around a little bit. But I think there was also, I mean, Steve Brandano faced it dead on. There's, there seemed to be some pride out there. I think he likes the way it looks, and and he's. Happy with well, it. I think, it, but also he does say it's. It does. I really find the studio very chilly, and he Howard does have like a long, thin neck, so he he might he might get a lot of like chilliness in his neck. It's not the scarf; it's how he wears it. You yeah, know what I mean? sure. The way it's tied is interesting. It, You're yeah. off, uh, uh, Sal's correct. Well, what do you mean, Sal? It's tied like a big chubby turban wrapped around his neck. And how, sh- how and how should it be tied? If, well, it shouldn't be. If, if you're hanging out indoors where it's a little warmer, just hang it over your shoulders. Let it hang down. But he has it wrapped up like this monstrous diaper, you know, uh, suffocating him, and it, it looks a little odd. But, you know, to each his own. I mean, who am I to talk? How many different scarves does he have? How many different colors? I don't know. But it seems like there's a color every day, I, 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 you know. <laughs> it's, it kind of reminds me of when Gary did that, that douchey move when he had a different pair of Pumas every day, different colors. How it's not too far behind with the scarf thing, you know. Well, but but I had a couple. I had three pairs of pumas that were different colors. I wasn't like color oh, coordinating. Would them. you would you intentionally wear a different color every day? Yes. yes. Yeah. I remember that perfectly. But why would, why wouldn't you? Why would you do like? In other words, I don't know. Color Sal, you you are the color most coordinating effeminate. sneakers. I know. I no, know. No, I, know. I, I wasn't color coordinating them. I wore a different pair every day. No, but Benji just asked you if you were color coordinating. No, no, them. no. He, that's not what he asked me at Didn't all. You just asked. I said, was he intentionally wearing a different color every day? Every day. Okay, yeah, but you were intentional. No, no, I wore a different color. What, did you, what did you think he was doing? Like, if, let's say I had green pumas on, he might, might put on a green sweatshirt and a green, you know, hat. That, that's what I thought. No, I don't wear a hat. And you, you put fucking makeup on. He wears a different and, shade of rouge every day. And, 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 and you are so gaily meticulous about your clothing. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with There's nothing wrong with looking nice. <laughs> so I, for, that looked nice to me. I like to have a couple. I, I, I have no problem with it. But Do you I, wear different color shoes every day? No. You don't. I have one pair of Italian black loafers, and I have uh, one pair of Skechers. Do you switch them off and on? Yeah. Okay, that's what I do with my sneakers. Sal uses hairspray a lot in the office, too. I can barely breathe in there sometimes. I can can barely breathe from you because you don't use anything that's hygienic. (laughs) But Sal, you use use hairspray? I have to. Why? Why? My hair will fall flat. I won't look good. (laughs) Why? What hair? You don't have a lot of hair to begin with. Thanks. I know that. That's why I'm using hairspray. He sends interns out to get his favorite hairspray at Bumble and Bumble. <laughs> What's that running you? Think, Sal doesn't use cheap products. So that's like what the 30, gay guys call them. Sal uses products. It's like $37. Oh my God. How long does that last you? <laughs> Pretty long. About a month or two. You know? <laughs> but it's just, I mean, men wear hairspray. Hairspray's not a big deal. Uh, I was you raised, wait, wait, wait. You use hairspray? I was raised on hairspray. Okay, so you wear hairspray. You use makeup. I don't use makeup. I use tanning creams. You, rouge? Not rouge. Tanning. I, I got a new, by the way, fake bake. Great stuff. And if anybody wants it, it's good stuff. And you what's use something stuff? on your eyes, What's too, the stuff right? you use that makes your um, forehead not look like luggage? <laughs> Nothing. No, no, because you, your forehead gets, um, gets like, John used to call me a pterodactyl boy. Yeah. Because I, it almost looks like, you know when you put an onion under a microscope, you see those block cells? No, you know what it looks like? I'm not kidding around. It looks like the texture of a basketball. Yeah. You know, it gets, it gets, and then you put something on it that makes that go away. No, I use a vino cream. Right. Did you know I use a vino cream? Well, I don't you put, have to any... put a vino cream. Yeah, I answer. put a vino cream on, which is very good. It's cumoidal oatmeal. As a matter, matter of fact, Beth even noticed my good skin. She loves my skin, and she even one time, a long time ago, she talked about my skin. And uh, yeah, I use cumoidal oatmeal cream, which is great by a vino. And I use uh, 
And if you want a good uh, tanning product, fake bake is very good. It's, it's expensive, but it, it reddens, reddens <laughs> up your cheeks. How much money do you spend yeah, on What are we talking from? here? What's I, the total? It's not ma- <laughs> Where's more makeup it than is, his wife? <laughs> fake bake is like is, $40 wait, wait, a stop can. Stop saying it's not makeup. It is makeup. It's enhancements. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were doing we were doing homeless questions in Times Square, and Sal goes, "Hold on, I got to stop at my favorite store." I thought he was going to go to like Virgin Records or something. He went into Sephora, the makeup <laughs> store, and I had to wait for him while he picked out makeup. Well, you're on TV; you have to look good. Howard has a makeup artist. You're in the on morning. TV once every two weeks. I know. No, he, well, has hair, he has a hairstylist. Sal wears his like eye makeup or used to for your, your bags under yeah. your eyes. Well, no, you asked me for one. Well, no, I no, you and talked I looked, about it on the air. Yeah, and my wife well, called. Raccoon away? No, there was one. My <laughs> wife, my <laughs> wife away. asked, "Hey, can you find out what Sal uses?" Yeah. I would like a cream like that. So it's, I went and Sal wrote it down, and she looks at it and she goes, "I can't afford this shit. This is like really high end stuff." Well, there's a, there's something made by. Um it's called M for men. It's uh, men cream for your eyes and stuff like that. But uh, I haven't it's used that It's probably r- radically different than the girl cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's the labeling. That's the only difference. They take the W for woman and they flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> you're, and you're, so, you're spending like hundreds of dollars on facial products. Not anymore. Not, I've given up. Look at me. I look like a pile of shit. But he's so. looking into getting uh, liposuction under his chin, too. I, well, if really? I get rid of the goatee, I wanted to get a little lipo and define my joy lo- Line a little bit, but you know. So what, Howard, here's what Howard getting would say. Older. Here's what Howard would say to that. Because I, I, I join a gym. He would say, "Why don't you join it? No, why don't you join a gym? And if you get thinner, then your neckline will, you know, your neck will get thinner, and then your chin will look bigger." I did. I lost about 17 pounds, but my face still looks like a, a saddlebag, you know. Right, right but what he's there. saying is, lose 17 more, yeah, and then you won't have to, it, to go it, under the knife. Here's uh, what Howard would say about the knife for 10 years, and then revealed on the Revelation show. That's yeah. A, yeah. Hey, Sal. By the way, aren't you like some ridiculous amount of money in debt? <laughs> <laughs> no, not anymore. More. I've cleaned up a lot so, of my debt. But what? Are you in debt at all? Uh, very, very, very little right now. But so, I don't. So spend... now that you're back on your feet, the first thing you're going to do is go get liposuction. <laughs> no, I've considered liposuction. I, I, I just speak out loud. I haven't done anything at all. <laughs> you know, I just think out loud. Think out loud. Obviously, you speak out loud. I'm th- <laughs> oh my God! When JD corrects you, you know you're in trouble. Uh, I, I'm just. I just think out loud. I think. I think we all look in the mirror in the morning and we say, Oh my God! I like to fix this. I like to do that. I look terrible. I think it's just a normal human reaction to look in the mirror and not generally be pleased with what you see. But I, I've kind of thrown in the towel on that. I have to be happy with what I have. What made you throw in the towel? Just age and, you know, 40 year, I'm 40 years old now. I have three three little boys. It's like, what's what am I doing? And I'm off the road. <laughs> no, that has nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love how Sal tells a joke and no one laughs. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, the reason you two are down here, there's two reasons. One was the Lankford call. Robin said she wasn't fooled. Did you guys think that she was fooled? Absolutely, yes. she was. Trevor in Rochester, you're on the wrap-up show. Yes, um, I had a question. When uh, Howard wears scarves and, you know, stuff like that, does anyone ever call him out, like, before the show, like, dude, what are you doing? No. (laughs) No, I mean, first of all, uh, when I go in there before the show, I don't even look at what he's wearing. I really don't. I got so busy giving him what he has to do. But even if I didn't like what he was wearing, he pays a guy that theoretically knows a lot more than me about how to dress, so I'm not going to tell him what to wear. Yeah, but you're not respecting Ralph at all. I mean, do you ever go back to Ralph and go, why are you making a goof of Howard here? You got these scarves wrapped up on him. It works for them. You know, it's like, uh, you know, like, uh, what was it, Um, Sarah Jessica Parker, that designer that just died, Remember how they were together. I guess Ralph and Howard are like a pair, you know. Whatever Ralph is giving Howard, it's working for him. If he was unhappy with it, he would have gotten rid of Ralph 20 years ago. Yeah, and do you think he's pulling uh, Ralph's getting a little more bold with his clothing? Uh, selections just because Artie's out now. You know, Artie won't. Oh my out. God! It's so funny that you bring that up. <laughs> Absolutely, because when Artie was there, it was so affecting what Howard was wearing. <laughs> but why would Artie being out affect what Howard wears? Like, where's the connection? Do you think Artie would call him out for wearing a scarf in the studio like that and having it wrapped? Maybe he would. I don't think Artie would call him out, but I think if the conversation came up today, he would have called him out. But I don't think. So you think that because Artie's not here, that Ralph's making Howard look more feminine? It also depends what year. Early on, Artie. You might have started wearing a scarf. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> do you think there's any chance that um, it's because of Howard's neck? It's starting to get a little looser, and he's trying to cover it up. No, because there's, there's many days he doesn't wear a scarf, and I don't notice anything. Okay. And by the way, the funniest thing that was said this year 
was when Howard said he was going to outrun. He could outrun anyone in the studio. And uh, his, um, Richard looked at uh, using that in a prank call at all. No, but we'll check into that. <laughs> Big fan, by the way. Thank you. I, I got your CD. That thing is awesome. Oh, thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, we. I mean, we do get a lot of good suggestions for calls, and a lot of fans will email us like their boss or something and say, "You got to call this guy. He gets really angry." So we appreciate you know suggestions like that. All right, Trevor. Thank you very much for calling in. Let's talk to Carlos in Oklahoma. Carlos, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing, Ricardo? Hey. Hey. Vivian at Chapel Hill, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, guys, great show. Um, I just wanted to say Gary should be giving some fashion tips. Gary is looking awesome these days. <laughs> we saw some old clips, and comparing to now, I mean, he's come so far. I like the facial hair, and I like when he dresses in dress shirts. I mean, you guys are not in your 20s anymore. I know it's a casual atmosphere, but you guys look so much better and have so much more authority when you dress professionally, and I think Gary looks great. And, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't get these scarves that Howard wears either. I don't like the, uh, you know, like high school letterman kind of jacket with a scarf. I, I mean, I don't think that's a good look for anybody. But, uh, I mean, Gary should be doling out the fashion tips. Yeah, well, I don't know that much. But thank you, Vivian. What, what I think what Howard was saying is I have been dressing better, but I didn't today. So he was sort of saying, like, hey, I thought you were supposed to be dressing better every day. And I've decided to pick and choose my days. Um, but, I mean, and, you know, like, I, John Hyde, I love you. But, man, what's with all the college T-shirts? Let's, let's put on a button down or even a polo every now and again. I mean, don't you feel better when you dress professionally? Absolutely not. I feel. No, I, I mean, I do. I got. I got to say, I feel much more uncomfortable and stiff. When I got to tell you something. For John, yesterday, John shot a show that they're starting to do for Howard TV. <laughs> I don't know whether they can talk about it or not, but John has to wear a button-up shirt, and there is a very uncomfortable-looking person when you have that shirt on. I just, yeah, I yeah. know. I know it's immature, and but I just like being comfortable with what I'm wearing. And for me, the t-shirts and the sweatshirts are, are what I or what I like. And, and I can tell that John's uncomfortable because when they yell "cut," it's about 11 seconds, so he's got that shirt off. <laughs> That's true. You still have right, the well, shirt I got saying, you for I mean, Christmas. I think, I think Gary, I think you're doing yourself um, a huge favor. I think you, you know, I think it is going to open some doors, and people are going to really respect you for all the hard work that you do. Well, thank you very much, Vivian. Thank you for you're like welcome. A, thanks for calling in, Vivian. Nothing like a 50 year old producer trying to open a door. <laughs> that, what, what's the shirt that you gave to John that he hasn't worn yet? It's from <laughs> you, you tell him. Oh, I can't remember actually. Well, well it was from <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. It was the one booger where it says "High on Stress." Oh yeah, I have it. I'll wear it. Okay. Believe me, I'm waiting patiently. But Debbie, does Mary ever tell you, you know, I wish you dress a little better or why you dress more professionally? Debbie wishes I dress more professionally. Um, yeah, but I do. Mary's bigger problem is that I have, like, I've been dressing a lot nicer and I haven't bought anything new. I have a closet of nice clothes. I just don't like to wear them as much. So now that I lost a little weight, I've been wearing them again, so she's pretty happy about it. But she would go, I, I have an enormous closet. She goes, I don't understand. You have this giant closet and all you'll wear are these 15 t-shirts. I think today, though, weren't you a little bothered by Howard's comment that, like, you're wearing a dress? Because I saw you I pulling down on the bottom of I, your no, shirt I, today. No, I pulled down like I didn't. I don't know. He's got a whole thing going on. But again, you know, I got yelled at by a man in a scarf. <laughs> what about you guys, Kristen? Christine, do they care about the way you dress? I know you care about the way you dress, Sal. <laughs> she doesn't care. Sal does a weird thing. Like, Sal will wear a really nice button-up shirt. Then he'll come here, and then he'll take it off and put it on a hanger and walk around for half the day in a T-shirt and then put it back on. Like, what's that about? Yeah. Going to Rick's That's after work. That's his Rick's line of shirt. <laughs> I was just going to say that, yeah. <laughs> I never knew what that was. <laughs> yeah, I learned that from my dad. He used to lay out all his shirts in the trunk of his Cadillac, you know, with, still with the dry cleaner bags over them and everything. So, Jason, yeah. Jason in L.A., you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, Jason. It's hard to hear you, man. Uh, sorry. It's a stupid Bluetooth lot. And <laughs> All right. Well, what were you so gonna... I was I was just thinking that uh, that I don't I don't really know what it looks like, but I think it's a good look for him. So you're gonna defend something you haven't seen? Yeah. Okay. I think basically, I mean, I I grew with Sal. I don't know the whole turban tied around the neck thing, but if it's just draped around the shoulders, the scarf could be a good look. You know, it's fashionable. We're just looking at some Johnny Depp pictures of the scarf, and I have to tell you, you know what? I don't think the scarf, I'm not being a dick, I don't like the scarf on Johnny Depp. 
Do you, John? No. But uh, who the hell am I to judge fashion? Believe me, I'm the last person in the world. But, no, I don't think it's a particularly good luck to wear a scarf inside during the winter time. They didn't so, discuss fashion on jumptheshark.com? No, there was never a fashion jump the shark, Richard. <laughs> and it's a little odd, too, because it's, it's fairly warm in the studio. And after two days, you're like, wait a minute, this guy's just not wearing it to stay warm. No, it's, a, it's definitely a look. Yeah. And if he likes it, so be it. All right. I know, I, he wore a scarf and he made fun of my necklace. Yeah. And, you know, it's a nice necklace. I don't know if you heard the news story, but uh, uh, Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas, Smokey Robinson, just a few of the people that are wearing the necklace I'm wearing. Yeah, but they're singers. That's right. I'm a music lover. All right. Jim and Carolina are here on the wrap-up <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, hey, Gary, you have you ever got the... Imp- uh, Ralph Sorella, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, now. Hey, quickly, a couple things. So this, I'm looking at pictures of this chick. She looks super hot. Was she, like, like seriously one of the hottest chicks? She, she's not the hottest chick that's ever been up here, but I would, I'll would. i stand by. She's probably the hottest porn chick we've had on in my memory. My God, she looks super cute. She is. She is. Um, hey, you know, you talk about Howard leaving. It's funny. I was just thinking about it the other day. You know, I don't think that... I mean, think about it right now. He's at the top of his game, really. I mean, it's it's almost effortless for him to sit down and do the show and just kind of, you know, effortless, I think. It, it, or at least it sounds it. But, you know, I think he has a list of demands, and if they don't if they do not do it at Sirius, he could do it anywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, like, no. no I, I, can't ima- I just can't imagine him going, okay, I'm done. Like, what would he do? And it's got to be something sort of long form like this, I think. I don't think it's like a late night show where he just gets on and talks for 40 minutes. You know what I mean? But, Ralph, you don't, you, I mean, you've been out to his house and you see how happy he is and you see how relaxed he is when he's out at the house. And, you know, we're going to guess that, he, that he's got enough money to live for a reasonable amount of time that lifestyle, you would guess, because he's, you know, I, I'm guessing not only because of what I heard that he makes, but just because the nature of how he's always been. He's, I don't see Howard as one of those guys. To get, I, I would never imagine Howard's going to end up like Ed McMahon. Like, he's just too good about saving his money and putting it in the right place. So if he could go and sit in his house every day and relax and he, not have the pressure he, again. He's not, he's not that guy. He's not the sit at the house with the guy, guy and relax guy. Well, I thought, he wasn't, I thought he wasn't that guy 10 years ago, I, but I think he could be that guy now, at least for a while. Well, he sits and relaxes. I'm saying that's that, if his job is sitting and relaxing, no, I, I don't see him doing that. You know, he's a, he's a worker bee. I mean, he's got that mentality that was drilled into him, work, work, work. And, I mean, I think that, you know, he takes a few days here and there and chills out, which is great, but he's not going anywhere. I, I can't imagine that happening. You know, this is him. This is his thing. Hey, Ralph, mm. was the scarf thing your idea? I don't discuss I don't discuss styling with uh, with uh, anybody else but Howard. Can I ask a, a totally separate question? Wait, I want to answer no, no, my question. But hold on. Do you wear a scarf? Absolutely. Often. Is that your edict or is that Howard's edict? <laughs> what edict? We're not to discuss. Uh, no, no. Oh, I'm not wearing a scarf. Is Howard's edict? I know, just, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Just sounds stupid. I'm not going to sit there and discuss how we work together. It's just not. Well, why, why well, would that be wrong to do? I just don't. It's yeah, like just, I, just, I, I took about that. We have a way of working together, and part of it is just I just don't, you know, I don't know what to discuss. I'm not going to sit there and break it down. Well, it just, it was, you know, there's it was a big thing. I bring to him, there's certain things that he says, hey, check, look for this, and I like this kind of thing, and, you know, so it's it's not specific. Do you, but without answering, do you have a memory of how the scarf uh, came to be? No. I, I, I have no memory. It just appeared one day. All right. Well, it's a big issue this week. That's the only reason why I'm asking. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. To, uh, yeah, no, and I, and I know you guys are goofing on it, but I don't know. I see a lot of people wearing scarves. I don't know. I don't know why that's branded as gay now. You what? don't, huh? No. <laughs> you don't think you, Especially oh. from a guy who wears a big amulet around his neck. <laughs> Well, you don't think it's an you don't think, <laughs> Ralph, you don't think there's a... It looks like a... Bubble. Don't, Ralph, don't say words you can't spell. Ralph, Damn you, lad. Ralph, you don't think there's a difference between wearing a scarf outside and wearing a scarf inside? Well, I don't know what I don't know what he's doing inside. Well, you, you know, he's always cold, which is actually really good for me because... Um, you know, I like to like style with layers and things like that, so he can leave a lot of stuff on because he's always, you know, he's he, he's he's always cold. So I think it's I don't think he's sitting there with a scarf on because he just wants that look. I think he's you know he's cold. I don't know. I have to review some tape and see what he's doing. He might be fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said he had it wrapped around his neck like a turban. I don't. Know. 
Uh, I don't think I don't think that's a good look. All right, re- review that and get back to us. I will. I will. I'll get right back. By, by the way, I'm looking up. You know what an amulet? You know what the actual definition is? It's an object that protects a person from trouble. So that's, <laughs> I love that word. Are, that are, doesn't are, seem to be working. But Ralph, you, you, I mean, I'm not the only person who's worn that amulet. It's, I know you have that. You have that defense that Fergie wears it. And, uh, um, and, it, uh, and not, Smokey Robinson. And Smokey Robinson, these are two people you want to emulate in your style. <laughs> but, you know, it's not, it's not that, that that thing is such a bad uh, thing to wear. It's just where you have it. It's very prominent. It's like Jeff, Jeff Probst when he wears his little neck things, and it just doesn't but, but, you know, so, so I'm going to ask you, because you're yeah. being totally serious, because mm. when I originally got it, it was longer, and then I wore it under my shirt, and then nobody could see it. Yeah, but you know, but that's it. See, you're, you're pulling it up, going like, "Look at my, look at my amulet." But why would I wear something that nobody could see? Well, because I don't know. Maybe sometimes you wear a shirt where it's, you know, the shirt's open a little bit more, and then you see it. See, because every time I've seen somebody wear it, you can see it. Hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't have never. That was, that was, Otherwise, that I wouldn't know. Fuck you. That wasn't a fuck you, from, by the way. No, I got it. I got it. In other words, whenever I've seen anybody wearing it, uh, they, I, you know, I can see it. Otherwise, how would I know it exists? It'd be like a nun piercing your clit. Yeah, I, I think the only way something like that thing works, and I would bet Fergie doesn't wear it like right around her neck like that. It's just, you know, it's just. That's all you see. See, I saw Smokey Robinson wearing it outside of a turtleneck, and I thought that looked ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, again, I wouldn't want to emulate Smokey Robinson's uh, style. He would not be a, he's not a style icon. All right, Ralph, thank you for the scarf and thank amulet you. insight. Yeah, just wear it a little lower maybe or just lose it. But just, you know, and if you're going to wear something around your neck like that, keep it simple. Keep it simple. A little piece of leather, maybe a little something on it or something like that, you know. Nice. Not a gigantic. Uh, I'll, I'll call you later. We'll go scarf shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Bye, Ralph. All right, Ralph Sorella weighing in. Let's talk to Pete in Pennsylvania. Pete, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, now. Hey, now. Pete. All right, guys, I'm stoned. and got the fucking munchies, so I'm going to cut to the chase. First, your show fucking rocks. Second, the scarves are fucking gay. Third, Gary, at the last year at Sirius, can you actually feel Howard's coattails slipping through your caps? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> but wait till call me in July. Okay. <laughs> 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 You rocked it, dude. All right, thanks, Pete. <laughs> I don't know how to recover from a call like that. Now, why were Scott DePace and Jason... Steve, how about when Steve would put me in the uh, shit and you go, you go, okay, here's the uh, here's the dud category of Benji, JD, and Jason. No, I know. Listen, he was trying to do an interesting radio show. You wanted to be in the Jared category? I can, I can think. <laughs> you never know. You know. Not everyone likes Jared. Goliath in Chicago. Cool name. Welcome to Back Office Radio. Cool. Hey, guys. Maybe I'm spending too much time with my nephew, but you guys are the Drake and Josh of uh, Howard 101. I like Drake. I, uh, That's a Nickelodeon that? show, right? Yeah. Uh, He's also from the Wackness. Before I get I to Brand Adam, my douche of the week's got to be Howard. You guys wearing a scarf and a thick leather jacket. All right, all right, all right. Scarf and thick leather. Come on, we're trying to uh, we're trying to do a radio show here, buddy. <laughs> Let's call somebody else a douche of the week. Are we doing douche of the week, or are we uh, passing no. on that? Segment? You know, I don't have the stomach for douche of the week. And uh, yes, before <laughs> you jump in on this show, all right, all right, Matt in California, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, uh, Matt in California, welcome to back.